Hello everyone, this is Randy here again, another episode of Fireman Simulator 2013. And we are playing on the failed Kirken map. And we got our farm all here, I've decided to sell it, it's been uh, acting a bit crazy on the roads here. So it's gonna have to go. Uh, the other tractors haven't been acting crazy, so I'm not sure if it's the map or the tractor, but uh, we're gonna blame the tractor at the moment just because it's the only one that's uh, doing it, so... Oh, and also we're going to sell the uh, corn picker we have as well. So, we'll... Ooh, that's, uh, that'll bring us a fair chunk of change. I forgot that thing was uh, that expensive. 10800 And the tractor, 17000 Okay. So, uh, first things first, now that we have some uh, money. Uh, interesting. I noticed I'm missing my thing down in the bottom. Well, we got uh, 72,000. I'm not sure why it's uh, disappearing like that. Anyway. Ah, now it seems to be back. Anyway, we got 72,000. So, uh, since we sold the tractor, I think we need to uh, get another tractor back. So, for that, to the store we go. Oh, that's interesting. Used to seeing the Amazon there first. That's, uh, yeah, it's a new uh, cultivator I picked up I'd like to uh, check out. I'm assuming one's like a 6 meter and the other one's a 7.2 meter. Not sure on that. Anyway. <clears throat> and tractors. What do we have? It's going to have to be something fairly cheap. Yeah, it's a little uh, wimpy on the horsepower. I'd like something uh, that's got at least this much horsepower. Preferably, uh, you know, an upgrade. Ooh, a Schluter. Yeah, I've used that one quite a bit, though, so... I'm not sure. I think that's probably an 80 horsepower, I'm guessing. 90 horsepower. Not a bad tractor, but, uh, like, something a little bigger. Got the Fords, but I've, uh, like, used these a lot. Also, they're not that big on the horsepower. Uh, we could get an International... I wouldn't mind picking up uh, one of these four-wheel drive ones. I've never used either of these two yet. Or at least I've never used a small one. I know I've never used a small one, so I wouldn't mind uh, trying the smaller one here. 130 horsepower. That's not too bad. Uh, yeah, John Deere will maybe get into one of these eventually once we get uh, some money. Oh, we got a John Deere 3030. Doesn't say the horsepower. I'm Yes, and it's somewhere probably around uh, 80 to 100 range. Just guessing there. 4455. Ooh, 150 horsepower. And a 4955. That's probably closer to 180 horsepower, I'm guessing. Maybe 200. I think we'll go with one of these. The only question is which one do I want to go with? This one's got a front hitch on it. Or front uh, three point on it. Yeah, I think we'll go with that. Mainly looking at the price right at the moment because I want to make sure we save up some money because once we get all this uh, silage, we're going to need something to uh, get the silage out of there and sell it. So, I don't really want to spend too much money on something at the moment. Once we get a little money, maybe we'll look at buying the... Uh, where did it go? Yeah, this one here, the International 1086. But for this one, uh, for now, I think we'll buy this. That's not a horrible looking uh, mod. I've definitely seen better, but uh, it's not horrible. That's weird with the ground there. Uh, let's see, anything we need to know. Oh, this thing does have dual tires, if I can remember the keys here. Ah, there we go. And, yeah. It's the uh, delete key and the home key. Or no, delete key and end key. I'm sorry. Yeah, delete key and end key. So delete and then home. Or end. Keep saying home. It's end key. I'm not sure what the home key does up there. Hmm. Thank 
Thank you. Uh, possibly the clip regions aren't good on this uh, tractor, maybe? I don't know. Never seen a car actually crash that close to us. need this tractor for anything in particular at the moment. I just thought we'd uh, get a nice replacement for the farm all. We could possibly uh, switch this guy out. That might not be a bad idea. I currently got our county tractor working on the chopper. It's probably a little light on the horsepower side for this job, but uh, he's working, so as far as farming sim is concerned, it doesn't matter, so... turns weird. Maybe it's just me, but... Also, it seems to have, like, that weird acceleration problem that, like, a lot of poor mods have. <laughs> so... Okay, and, uh, before we go any farther, I probably should show you this. Let's see if we can get to him here. Still cannot get... There we go. I got, uh, auto... Uh, yes, auto tractor. I was gonna say auto harvest. No, this is auto tractor here. Uh, harvesting this corn for me. It's a good thing I brought that uh, farm all to the uh, shop there. I cannot turn around with the auto tractor open like that. I took, uh, took the farm all to the shop there and uh, I was going to sell it. Ooh, got that chopper there yet. I wonder if that'll work with auto tractor. Or I was thinking auto harvester first because, you know, it's harvesting, not really so much the tractor, but. Uh, Yep, it does indeed work. I did uh, have to uh, help it along the outside edge of the field a little bit, but uh, once we got a few passes done, it's been working pretty flawlessly. I just got to remember to empty it every now and then, so. And while he's doing that, we're going to go chop some corn ourselves. So, we got the county tractor over here working. Obviously, you know, the Marshall trailer. And, of course, I have the uh, Thatcher doohickey thingamajiggy on the back there, so... Quite nicely. And out of curiosity, how full is he? Uh, he's almost full. And over here, we are full. Yep, off screen, I've been busy uh, working at this uh, field here. So. Got to uh, activate inverted driving mode here first. Yeah, it never uh, saves that state when you uh, save the game and leave, so. Okay. And to know I'm on the right attachment, just find the one with a chaff in it, disconnect it, and there you go. And I'll have to try to remember here, too, to show you guys the uh, bunker. Yeah, this guy's not too uh, far away. Let's just take a look at that a minute here. I'm not even sure how much is in there myself. Uh, I haven't uh, looked at it in a while. You know, I just got uh, course play uh, emptying it for me. Now, I do uh, empty the county tractor uh, Marshall trailer manually, but... Uh, oh, 617,000. Yeehaw. Pretty cool how this bunker fills up too from the end. That's uh, kind of like that. That's uh, something new. I've never seen that before. So, not complaining. That's for sure. Okay, I think this guy's up there somewhere over that hill. And just like we did on field six. I've got this guy set up with a transfer course again. So all he does is uh, go empty the wang it's over at the biogas plant there. Works pretty uh, good in my opinion.
Okay, we just disconnect that wing in there. Go hook up the uh, full one. Well, apparently we're stuck. Okay, now we go empty, uh, or pick up the full one. And before we, uh, tell him to drive, of course, make sure we turn him around a little bit, otherwise he's just gonna turn around and crash into us. There we go, tell him to drive the course, and away he goes. He will go empty that. Okay, and we should be off. Gonna wait for that pipe to come around the right direction here. There we go. I don't know why it always does that when you first start. The pipe always goes faces off that direction for some reason, like there's something over there. hard to tell where to chop sometimes with this uh, chopper. I'm not sure if it's the chopper's fault or just the way this map is or just the farming simulator in general but uh, sometimes it leaves quite a bit of corn. It shows it's there but it's not there if you guys know what I mean. It's kind of like what we got there. There's corn there but it's actually not corn there. Corn is actually defined by the uh, darker shaded region there. So like that little strip there, there's actually corn there if I went and got that. I don't care enough about that, so we'll just leave it. And that guys pretty much see what I've been doing off screen here, what I did on field six. Pretty much uh, spent uh, Took me a couple hours to do it. I don't remember exactly because I didn't walk, look at the clock when I started, but uh, took me a few hours to finish that field, that's for sure. So I would say this field's of about the comparable size, so it's probably going to take me about the same amount of time. So. Yeah, I don't think I uh, fully mentioned what actually happened to that farm all. The uh, front end of that farm all actually, uh, I'm going to call it fell apart. It actually, uh, the model itself kind of like disintegrated the front end or something. I don't know what happened. All I know is I ended up with the front end was all tangled up around the front end of the tractor. The tires were hanging out one end and sticking up the other end. And axles and shafts and I don't know what else was all. front end of that tractor got knackered up, that's for sure. So... Uh, reset and it did fix it, but uh, at that point it was like, yeah, that's not cool. All I was doing was driving down the road and it was doing its uh, funny front end, rear end wheelies and popping wheelies. I like it's hitting something. Like I say, it might just be the map, but uh, none of the other tractors do that. So, yeah, you know, there's going to be a little bit of corn there probably. Yep, there we go. Got uh, quite a bit of this field done already. It does go uh, fairly quick with this uh, chopper. I was thinking the uh, fields on this map would be a little bit smaller. They're actually a uh, fairly good sized fields, so. And I imagine that uh, auto tractor guy's probably full. We should probably check on him. Yep. When he's full, he'll just uh, sit there and wait. <coughs> and all I have to do... Turn auto tractor off so I can see. May just uh, switch him out for that guy. Although, maybe not, because I got all the settings kind of set here and he's working, so I'm a little hesitant, hesitant to do that. Just drive up in here. Watch the plow grow very slowly. I 
I did uh, try auto tractor with the uh, other tractor we got going there, the MB track and the front end chopper. That uh, does not appear to work, or at least I could not get it to work, so. <coughs> Okay, I'll just get them lined up where we left off here. All I gotta do is hit the power button and away he goes. And just to kind of give you guys a quick overview of the settings I got, it's uh, obviously on auto tractor. He's doing uh, circle mode. You can do up and down the field mode, but I'm not sure how well that would work with this. Auto steer is off, I guess. I uh, thought I had that on. But anyway. And that off uh, turn mode, I got him in uh, driving. I always tried to do a funny back up, turn around, back up, turn around thing, and never really went well, so. Now he gets to the end, he kind of does a circle around. So yeah, like what he's doing now, let's just kind of circle around and start over the next one, hopefully. Uh, everything else is off here. Auto tractor inverted. Uh, yeah, I think that's, uh, you can use that for like the, uh, we got inverted driving on the other tractor. And he is set to turn left. Uh, turn angle, yeah, blah, 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 work with. I uh, did not adjust that, that automatically came that way, so, like all these other settings here too, so automatically came that way. So we'll leave him to his thing. Yeah, this is, I think, is an example where you'd use the inverted driving mode, because we got, you know, obviously it's inverted now. So you would have to tell Auto Tractor it's inverted. Yeah, I could not get uh, Auto Tractor to work with this for some reason, it, uh, I'm going to show you guys if I turn it on here. Yeah, attention, do not activate employer. That's all it ever does. So, as much as I played around with the settings, I never could get him to uh, do anything. So, I could probably uh, get this to work in course play, I think. It's a possibility anyway. But probably still be uh, somewhat problematic because it's still, you know, obviously have to stop and change out wagons, or at least I'd have to uh, pull a wagon behind him somehow. And yeah, these wagons really, I don't think, are designed to be pulled behind by another tractor. They're designed to be pulled behind the vehicle that's doing the chopping, so. Or more specifically, behind the chopper itself, actually. But. Yeah, I do have a, I think it's a John Deere self-propelled chopper I want to give a try, so. And once we get this uh, silage sold at the biogas, we should have a fair amount of money to play with, hopefully. Again, looking at upgrading some of this equipment. I think we uh, finished this field. There's one more big field of corn yet. Thirteen? Yes. Thirteen, so quite as big as these other two here maybe but still pretty good sized and five is empty so is 14 11 nine I believe is empty as well even though it shows it there for some reason and two or three and uh, yeah two or three are empty one still has some corn in it yet so Actually, somewhat easier to tell when you're full just by uh, watching the uh, corn that's coming out of the chute.
I think horsepower wise technically this track could probably uh, pull the chopper as well. I believe it's a hundred horse. If I remember correctly anyway. Just uh, looks a little small on that chopper. Cause I think I had this guy set up originally. It's like, yeah, no. I did notice this county tractor did have some trouble uh, pulling the uh, wagons here, so that's why I switched them around. It's like, see if the Lamborghini here does any better. It seems to, so. I do like the fact we'll have to. Uh, show you guys that you can actually kind of get a view in the wagon here and watch the grass come in. It's pretty cool. Definitely not somewhere where you'd want to hang out in real life while they were actually running a chopper. Probably uh, somewhat equivalent to the uh, effect of being sandblasted, I'm guessing. I've actually heard the uh, to use corn bits and parts for sandblasting, I believe, although I don't think they call it sandblasting at that point, but, uh... Okay, I'm not gonna be able to squeeze through there, am I? Probably not. Might have to pull that other wagon out of the way here first. Let's see once. Thought I had him back far enough. Yes, not. That's weird. It's the first time I've actually had him shut the engine off on me. Oops. Now we're going to knacker that one up too. Should do it. Hop over here. Get this guy sent on his way again. And drive the course. Ah, yeah, we get kind of uh, inside the wagon. It'd be kind of hard to drive from here, though, but uh, still kind of cool. Got to take a quick peek out here to make sure I can see where I'm going yet. We're gonna miss a little bit there. Oh well. Yeah, I found kind of like a view like this uh, works the best for me. You can't really see from the inside. Normally I like driving in cab, but uh, it's kind of hard to tell from in the cab where you are. So, found a view like this that uh, works about the best for me. I can watch the ground there. Kind of try to follow the shaded lines there best I can. Yeah, the corn itself kind of lies to me where it actually are. Yeah, there's a good example. You can see how far the corn is out. The line is actually almost down the middle of the chopper, so half my chopper actually ain't even doing nothing.
and it does take that uh, Marshall trailer and the uh, other auto tractor guy quite a bit longer to fill up so I think it was I was doing about three or four to his one so I think it's probably just he's mainly derping up around the turns and stuff and I think that is a smaller chopper as well I think uh, we hold a exactly the same amount I think I like to say these uh, wagons are exactly the same as the Marshall Tipper size wise or real close anyway I'll have the long part of this field done, then the rest of it will probably go a lot quicker. And yeah, I'll probably uh, finish this field up off screen. And uh, yeah, we'll wait. I'll wait to uh, bunker that silo until I'm on screen, just so you guys can see the first silo get bunkered up for the uh, fermenting process. Yeah, I actually ended up on uh, the other field. I think that's field 10 there. Yeah, field 10. I actually went over there with this uh, chopper there and did a couple uh, rounds around the outside edge of the field to kind of clear it up for auto tractor there. Ever since I did that, I have not had any issues with him uh, derping up at all. So, by the way, he was kind of crashing into stuff around the outside edge of the field and getting stuck. The other thing I did learn too, uh, just a note, uh, do not miss anything because Auto Tractor picks up on that and it will try to, uh, seems like it will try to harvest it at least as long as it's not too far away. So, get, uh, I like spots I missed, ooh, spot I missed right there. Auto Tractor will actually go and try to get that. So, and of course in the process it will kind of muck up the straight line on the field, or the somewhat straight line anyway. Not that it's really straight from what I did, but uh, yeah, I did learn you want to make sure you kind of go back and clean up all those little spots if you can have auto tractor helping you out. Probably the same thing for auto combine as well. Okay, and there we go, another full one. And on that note, I think we'll probably call it an episode here. Not the greatest point to de-hitch him, oh well. And it'll have to work. Yeah, we'll uh, call it an episode here, folks. Uh, just uh, check on this guy, yep, he's still going, so. Yeah, if you folks have any comments or questions, uh, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching. Till next time.